Today's Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Factory Spike's first original comedy, Sundays at 10 p.m. A motorcycle builder dabbles in cars, a supercar goes supernova, and there's trouble in Formula One paradise. I'm Alex Gazella, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. It's Fast Lane Daily with Alex Gazella. If you love your Mitsubishi Evo, but need more room for IKEA furniture, Mitsubishi says yes you can. The company today confirmed its concept CX is headed to production. Car watchers know the CX as a crossover prototype Mitsubishi unveiled at the 2007 Frankfurt Motor Show. Mitsubishi says the CX, like its Lancer sibling, will come with a turbocharged, four full-timed all-wheel drive system and twin-clutch SST gearbox. No word yet on higher-powered Evo version. With its crossbow track day car, Austrian motorcycle builder KTM has already dabbled in four-wheelers. But as the UK's car magazine reports, KTM may be getting serious about the auto business. The company is reportedly working on a new kind of off-roader that's both fun and eco-friendly. Smaller than an SUV, but bigger than a quad, the yet-unseen cross-vehicle from KTM is expected to make its debut at the rally formerly known as Paris Dakar, ahead of a market launch in 2010. But that's not the only KTM quad-wheeler in the works. Carr says KTM is also working with India's Bajaj Auto on an economical city car that seats four and comes in gasoline, diesel, and electric variants. And if a 550 horsepower Mosler MT900S isn't car enough for you, well, tough guy, just head over to Nelson Racing Engines of California. That's what one owner of an MT900S did recently, with some fairly batshit results. Nelson engineers tweaked the Mosler's 7-liter V8 with twin turbos producing nearly 30 pounds per inch of boost at full bore. That translates to 1,800 horsepower on race fuel and 1,100 horses on 91 octane. Of course, that's when all the kinks get sorted out. Autoblog recently witnessed a dyno run of the Nelson tuned car, during which the intake collapsed at 1,600 horsepower. That'll buff right out. Nelson says the steroidal Mosler will be road ready in the next few weeks. Is Fernando Alonso going Formula One team hopping again? Well, that's in the internet rumor mill right after this. heavy machinery? Well, I know I do. So check out Spike's original series, Factory, Sundays at 10 p.m. Check it out on Spike. And is it typical Formula One gossip, or is Fernando Alonso ditching Team Renault for a second time in two years? Well, that's the dirt from German magazine Sports Build, which reports Alonso will follow a major sponsor to Ferrari next season. Build says the move will be part of a deal between Ferrari and Spanish bank Santander worth nearly $40 million a season. Santander will reportedly drop sponsorship of the McLaren team it joined back when countryman Alonso signed on for the 2007 season. Racing site Grid Crasher speculates Alonso will replace Ferrari's second chair, Felipe Massa, for the 2009 season. No word yet from the Ferrari or Alonso camps. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Alex Gazella, and I will see you later.